What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an awesome video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a weakness policy Dragon Ball team alongside with Evo Light Dubly. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support that's been going out across the channel. But getting started with this team, we got Dewblade in that top left corner, a Pokemon that we never use on this channel, and I don't think I ever used in this game so far. I used them when I used to use like AG Slash just to level them up, but never used them in a rank double battle, so this is going to be fun. going to be awesome to show them off. He has a no guard ability, the Evo Light as his item, so he gets a big defensive boost because it's not his final evolution. We got Iron Head and Shadow Sneak, both for our stab moves. Then we got Close Combat and Screech. And this Pokemon is going to work wonderful with this Dragon Ball, considering we can proc policy with the Shadow Sneak. Then we also have Screech, lower the pose of Pokemon's defense, and have Dragon Ball one shot everything left and right. Right next to him is going to be our second Pokemon that's going to be Dragapult, like I just said. We got Dragon Ghost typing, and then a normal moveset for him with the Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Fly, and Protect. Middle left is going to be Mimikyu. He's going to act as a Trick Room Pokemon or a Trick Room Counter Pokemon because he has Trick Room as his move. So we can counter up or we can roll in there if he has Speed Advantage. And then we got Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, and Will O' Wisp for his physical attackers. We also have the Bapa Beery Berry for his item and then Disguise as his ability. Middle right is going to be Clefable, a great support mod for this team with the Follow Me, Moon Blast, Safeguard, and Protect as its moveset. And then its item is going to be the Safety Goggles. Bottom left, we got Rotom Wash. We got the Washer guy who's going to do our laundry today, but a great all-around Pokemon. We have Nancy Plot to set up, Thunder Bolt and Hydro Pump for Stab, and then we got Protect as our final move. And then he also has that Citrus Berry as his item, so when his health falls below half, we get a little bit back and we can stay in the battle just a little bit longer. Final Pokemon is going to be Urshifu, fighting in Dark type, and he is a beast up against the horses. He's just an awesome Pokemon for Series 9, and he's always been a great Pokemon ever since he came into uh, this game. He can be used on any team, I believe, just all around phenomenal. Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Protect as its final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this Weakness Policy, Dragapult, and Dublade Blade team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Galarian Articuno team alongside with Raichu, Kartana, Urshifu, Intimidate, Incineroar, and Lapras. I think I gotta go into Dewblade and Dragapult. I think that's a fine play. I'm trying to think. He might lead that Lapras, but I definitely wanna try off this, or try to show off this new combo here. I think we're fine going in that too. We might lead Incineroar. Uh, who do I wanna bring in? I wanna bring in Rotom and I think Urshifu. I think this combo should work decently well and we should be able to rock out from here. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. This is a good play, Gene. I think it is a good play. I think we're gonna rock out with it. We're gonna try to get after it and get ourselves a win in battle number one. But guys, before we hop into this battle, let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite second stage Pokemon? And it cannot be a Pokemon that second stage is its final evolution. It has to have three evolution and it has to be the middle Pokemon. Like Dewblade. Dewblade's sitting here, he's great second evolution. He's really cool as well. For me, I really like Flaffy, Mareep's second stage, and Ampharos's uh second stage. Yeah, just that line. And uh, who else do I like? Rottle, I like Turtwig second stage, but I feel like I'm missing some bangers of double stage Pokemon. Or second stage Pokemon. Let me know in the comment section down below your guys' favorite. Well, I do like Gabite. Garchomp second stage? Ooh, that is sound tough. But Intimidate comes out here. I think I just Shadow Sneak here. And I proc this policy. And then, uh... Dynamax and one win. Yeah, get that attack drop and, uh... Get some damage off onto that Incineroar. I actually a Sucker Punch flying through here, which I don't really like. Or Wicked Ball. Ooh, ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, I should have went after him. I should have went after him. I could protect or max guard next turn. Let's just see what happens. This one's going to be tough one. Realize that after I made my play, because I'm talking about question of the day. I get distracted very easily. But is he going to end up faking me out? I don't know. Let's see what he does. But this attack shop should be pretty big, considering they're both physical attackers. And I think we can take out Incineroar in one shot once we get this policy proc. And then I could guard. That might be our play next turn. It's the guard. Because he's either going for Sucker Punch or a Wicked Blow here. Which I hope not. Maybe maybe he's going for like close combat onto my dude blade. Something along those lines. Shadow Sneak pops out here. And I think we can eat up a Wicked Blow. Especially after seeing his minus one. Because we should be able to outspeed him. No problem. He doesn't go for a fake out. Let's see what he does. Because this thing should be gone. Should tell it to go home. Policy proc. Stab move. Get this thing out of my face. That's beautiful. Maybe he was trying to double up into my Dragapult. But I think we're fine here. Attack drop. That's huge. That's huge. Minus one on that guy. That's going to help us out tremendously. He's going to end up going for a Wicked Blow onto Dragapult, I'm guessing. Let's see. 
Onto my dual blade. Oh, even better. Oh, we love to see that. Over onto my dual blade. Oh, yes, sir. So he might just, uh, he might sucker punch. I'm going to go for the shadow sneak into the uh, airstream. I think that's going to be play. Shadow sneak into the airstream. He might drop. He's probably going to drop ice on me. I do have Rotom. I really want to get rid of you. I really indeed want to get rid of you. We get a defense drop. Uh, who else do we have in the back? We do have Urshfu in the back, which is lovely. Uh, I don't think we need speed. I think I'd rather get a defense drop. Mm. Defense drop probably won't kill. We're going to go for the uh, airstream then. All right, we're going to double up in there at because I feel like he's posing a decent threat here. Lapras is probably going to drop ice, get that Aurora Bell popping, and that's going to be scary. That was my the scary Pokemon for us. But again, we have Rotom and we have Urshfu in the back, which I'm really liking. Oh, he, dy oh, he Dynamaxes Urshfu. He Dynamaxes Urshfu. Okay. I'm going to end up Dynamaxing this Pokemon. Okay. i get rid of this thing. This going to be lovely. That's if I would have screeched it. Shadow Snake's going to come through here. Just because I thought it was Sash. It probably still is Sash. Here's my airstream. How much damage are we going to do with this thing? Can we KO is the real question. Oh my lord. So close, man. That is so close. He's probably going to take out my Dragapult now. Probably going to double up with him. Alright, let's see what he does. She max uh, one blow. And yeah, he is minus one. So we are able to eat. Don't double up into me. Don't double up into me. Ice Beam, he's doubling up into me. Okay, so he doubles up. Uh, picks up the KO there. And Dragapult goes down. That's a little tough. That's tough news for me. I do have Sucker Punch. Which I'm totally going to double up on the search for. I need to get rid of it. That thing shows it's orbed. That's totally fine. Let's bring out Urshfu. Get that Sucker Punch rolling. And I'm thinking we can uh, Sucker Punch. Because I think Sucker Punch will pick up the KO. Right? Sucker Punch should be able to pick up the KO. Because that's Shadow Sneak 40. Yeah, we're going to go for that, that Iron Head here. What do I Screech this thing? I'm going to Screech this thing this turn. Screech it and just drop a Sucker Punch. Yeah, let's do it. It's not, oh, it's not very effective. But still, I think we can pick up KO with it. That's what I'm thinking. He's going to guard up. Yo, dude, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Sucker Punch comes through. And Screech comes over here. So we got Defense Drop on that. I'd rather get off of Close Combat on that. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's going to roll out here. He is still minus one. Ice Beam's going to pop. And are you going to take out my Dewblade? Are you going to go after Urshfu? Which I'm totally fine with. Uh, I think we just Sucker Punch again and we can drop Close Combat. Or I can Iron Head. What does Jeans want to do here? I don't think that Shadow Sneak is going to pick up KO. But I think Sucker Punch will. I'm going to do that. He's going to double guard. All right. Let's just do land a double guard. What you mean? Lands a double guard. Here goes my iron head. Can we get a flinch? That's that's my real question. Did you not get a flinch? Out my face. Get him out of here. Okay. So the thing is, Urshfu's gonna drop here. A shadow sneak will now kill his Urshfu. Because he has less HP. He's out of Dynamax form. And we do have Rotom chilling. Here. My boy Rotom. He's probably like, please don't let it be Rotom. Please don't let it be Rotom. And I'm like, yeet, Rotom, baby. But this dude really just landed a double guard. I give him props for uh, having the moxie to do it. I would have never. I would have never went for it. Uh, again, like I said, Shadow Sneak should be able to do the, the dirty work here. And I should be able to pop out with a... Uh, ooh, do I not protect? No, we're fine. We're going to go for this Thunderbolt. Shadow Sneak, we're faster. We should be able to come out here because we are plus one. We are plus one on that speed board from that max air stream earlier in the match. If this thing protects and lands again, I'm not playing anymore. I hope you guys know that. <laughs> Sucker Punch, go. you outspeed me? What you mean? Yo, what? I did not see that thing actually outspeeding me. All right, Thunderbolt should be able to come out here. Do him dirty, pick up the KO. This is actually a closer battle than I thought. But dude, that Urshfu should have been dead a long time ago. Was it last game or last uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield video or the one before that where the dude was getting off protects left and right? Same thing's happening here. They had the boost of rates. And he's gonna throw out Cortana, and that's GG now. Come on, man. That's so whack. Um, I guess we'll Thunderbolt. I mean, I guess <laughs> try to try to pick up this KO, but we are gonna lose this first battle, which is all good. I'm gonna start off on one. Sucker Punch is gonna fly through here, dude. You should be dead. I'm annoyed with this guy. Leaf Blade's coming through, and that's gonna kill us. That is definitely gonna kill us. But yo, GG's there. We start off 0-1. We're gonna hop into our second battle and look for our first win for today's video. 
Second battle coming at you guys. Looking for our first win for today's video. That first battle did not go our way. We played decently well. Just at the end, he ended up taking up the cake, landing up another max guard, and getting that victory. But we're going up against a Dragapult team alongside with Cabalion, Landorus, Grimmsnarl, Galarian, Articuno, and Tailwind with that uh, Whimsicott. How should I do this? I'm kind of scared here because if he goes Tailwind into Dragapult, I mean, I think we should go Urshifu. Maybe we can roll a Trick Room with Mimikyu. That's not bad. Bring Dragapult in the back end. Dragapult could be our back end Pokemon. We could go Cafe uh, Cafable. But then I'm thinking, I'm thinking Rotom here. I am thinking lovely little Rotom. I say we get with it. I don't see him leading the Landers. I see him leading that Tailwind and then going into, uh, what's it called? Dragapult. Right? I see him doing that. And if he does, I'm just going to drop a Wicked Blow on that thing. I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can. And then I could Shadow Sneak the next turn. So we're going to play up against how we think he's going to do it. Because if we go our combo right now with that dra with that Dew Blade and that uh, Dragapult, and he goes Tailwind Dragapult, he's going to outspeed. He's going to hit me really hard and uh, ruin my party. Let's see who he goes in. He goes in with Cabalion and Dragapult. Okay. So he's going to do like a little beat-up combo. A little bit of beat-up combo, which I, I'm, I'm fine with. I could just Sucker Punch on this thing. I might double up just Sucker Punch. Yeah, you know, I'm Sucker Punching, and I'm just going to drop a Willow Whistle onto this guy, Cabalion. Do it that way. You want to play games with me? We're going to do it that way. Let's get after this. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to Dynamax. He's going for the beat up. He's totally going for that beat up. But, yo, I'm totally fine with it. if I can Sucker Punch this thing, get off decent damage here, and then get off a burn. Because he can't one-shot any of these Pokemon. He cannot one-shot any of these Pokemon. We have Focus Dash and we have Disguise. Unless he drops like a rock or something that can take out my uh, Urshifu. But what's this typing? It's Fighting and Steel, I believe. Sucker Punch comes through. Can we KO with this? Boom, dirty. Oh my lord, of course this thing's Sash. Of course this thing's Sash. We can Shadow Sneak it next turn, which is fine. Breaking Swipe can come through here. Does not affect me. But I think he, isn't he proc and policy? Isn't that what it does? He just wants my attack drop. It's totally fine. And no, he's just going to go for an airstream. He's going to pick up a KO onto Urshifu, which is totally fine. I'm going to be able to get off a burn here. Oh, he does not pick up the KO. <laughs> he does not pick up the KO. That is lovely. So he does not pick up the KO. I am going to Shadow Sneak on that thing instead of Sucker Punching. I think that's going to be play. And there's a big burn onto a Dynamax Pokemon. Did we get that off? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Shadow Sneak's going to pop through from Mims. And then I think I just close combat on that. Or oh, I can go for a Wicked Blow. What's her play? Hmm. I think we go with the Wicked Blow because that won't affect. Oh, no, never mind. We have to go for this. We have to go for this. Let's do that. And then just drop a nice little Shadow Sneak onto Dragapult. Get rid of him. Tell him to go home. I'm going to withdraw the pole. That's totally fine by me. I'm going to withdraw the pole here. And Whimscott is going to come out here. Not Sash, but still. But still. He's going to try to get off the Tailwind and roll from there. There goes this. Is this thing policy? That's my question. I think it is. He's going to go for a Steel Spike into my Mimikyu. Oh, no. Not my Mimikyu. Where's my Babiri Berry at? Aren't I holding a Babiri Berry? Or is that just for Disguise? Is Disguise helping that out tremendously? Now the question is, is this thing policy? That's my question. I think it is. I think it is going to be policy, which is going to be tough news for us. So we should be able to get off decent damage here. What's combat coming out here? No, not decent damage at all. Is that? Please don't show me that thing's policy. There goes my defense stats. And no, it's not. What item is this thing holding? Got that big burn on him, which I really, really like. Um, I think I just sucker punch on this thing before we do go out. But you know what? I could try to go for another close combat. Like we'd play. Um, I could just go for a play rough. Yeah, we're going to go for a play rough over on this one's got slot. Let's stop having this thing pass from me. He's probably going to tailwind here. But again, we have our Dragon Pole in the back end, which I'm really liking. Come out him, come out with him and Dynamax him because we still have our Dynamax. We played a decent lead here. His Dragon Pole's basically dead. It's on one. Airstream can come through here. He's going to boost his stats again. And this guy's going to be able to eat up all day. All day long, which you love. The burns are huge, dude. The burns are enormous. So, again, I'm not really worried about Cabalion. There goes his turns. That's a gleam. He's going to pick up the KO on the Urshifu. That's totally fine. Mimikyu's going to stay alive uh, multiple turns, dude. He's eating. He's eating strong here. Here's our play rough. Bang, bang, bang. How much damage can we do that? Not too much, but still. Just a little bit. Plenty of damage. 
Bang's gonna get some damage off with the burn. Uh, I think we bring out you, start boosting our speed and roll from there, dropping defense as well. And just save our Rotom for the back end. Because we know what Pokemon he has so far. Except for one. He has the Wounded Scott, he has this, he has a Dragon Bolt who's on one HP. And then his final Pokemon, whatever that is. And we have a Dynamax advantage now. Because we played our lead very, very smart there. I'm liking where we're sitting. I, re I really am. I'm gonna Dynamax, I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna that speed boost, and we're gonna get after that Wounded Scott. And then I guess I just play rough. I guess we just play rough again. Let's rock out. Let's get after it. Mimikyu, dude. I love Mimikyu. He's such a good Pokemon. He's such a good Pokemon. Probably the best single stage Pokemon in in the game. Right? I can't think of any other single stage Pokemon that are that is even remotely close to as good as Mimikyu. He's phenomenal. He really is. He's just insanely strong. His ability is phenomenal. He has a great move set. Or his moves at pool, which you can bring from. There's all around great Pokemon. He can play support. He can play attacking. He can pester. Ironhead's coming out here. We're a Beery Berry. We're going to be able to eat that up all day. His, his ability really separates him from every other Pokemon, in my opinion. It's just a free first hit. We can soak up shots. Things going to come out here. And he's got a proc and policy. Move. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for proc and policy. Thank you, Whimsicott. And now you are dead. Now you're dead, yeah, yeah. Get out my game, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wim Scott, out my face. Get him out of here. Get him out. He's gone. We get a speed boost as well. Again, I'm not worried about the Cabalion. Not, not even close. Hopefully he brings out Polt. I can Shadow Sneak on him next turn. I flinch. I flinch. Get out my face. Get out my face, game. Got Policy Brock. I can see this dude just quitting, saying, wrap it up. Doing one of these. Wrap it up. It's funny because that's like what me and my friends do all the time when like the night's about the end like say it's like 2 a.m. in the morning We're all chilling or like something happens at a party. We're just like wrap it up And we'd say it in that voice like, wrap it up <laughs> Like all right time to go guys wrap it up <laughs> That's just a thing we do. Um, I am gonna come out here. Uh, do I worm one? No Phantasm is gonna be your play Phantasm over on you and I'm just going to give you a lovely little shadow sneak You no reason not to give you a lovely little shadow sneak Got a sneak pop it through here. Give me that first turn. Boop. Later, kid. Later. And now we're rolling pretty strong with the team. I am loving this team so far. I feel like that Dewblade and Dragon Ball combo was really, really strong. And then this team all around is just great. Ironhead's going to come through with him. We'll probably go down here. Yeah, we're at 33. But Mimikyu did plenty of work there. Got off a burn. Pestered around. Just did all around work. Urshfruit was able to eat up shots too because of Mimikyu. To stay in the battle a lot longer. Wait to die next turn. The Battalion goes down and it's going to turn into a 2v1 with a weakness policy Jack Bolt with one more turn in Dynamax. So, easy win. Easy win for your boy. Going to go 1-1, one one, which is which is awesome because you guys already know your boy likes to have winning records or at least win one battle. Because, you know, we don't go with the here. That's just not our style. That's just not our style. Not the Gene style, man. Phantasm, super effective deal. Just leave the battle. Do me a favor. Leave the battle. You're going up against two powerhouse Pokemon. Cancel and save your birds of time. There it is. One and one. Let's hop into that third one and get that winning record for you guys. Third and final battle here. Going up against an awesome team right here. This team looks amazing. He has Landorus with that Intimidate. Blastoids, which is a very cool Pokemon. Galarian Moltres, Rillaboom, Charizard, and Urshfu. Like, that's a team I would want to use just because, like, just appearance-wise, it looks phenomenal. But I think we're going to go into our Dublay combo. Dublay Dragapult. Rock out from there. He does have Fake Out with the Rillaboom and with the Blastoids. Intimidate, I'm not really worried about considering Dragon Bolt is clear bodied, which is pretty wonderful. Urshfu's got to come in. We got to bring in Urshi. And then in the final spot, uh, Rotom? Yeah, Rotom does work. Rotom does a lot of work. We have Thunder for the, uh, for the what's it called? For the Blastoids and that, uh, that Galarian Moltres. Then we have Water for the Landorus and the Charizard. So get in here. Get in here. Come on with us. Did not get to show off Clefable today, which is all good. It's really no big deal. Clefable's just there to kind of uh, do a little support mod. You guys kind of already know what that does. And it does have that, what's it called, too? The safety goggles and the safeguards, considering if people are rolling Venusaur with Sleep Powders or Saiyan Moongus, then you can roll out with that safeguard and kind of roll out and get going from there. I'm hoping we can pick up this win. This team is so cool. Is he going to bring Charizard in as lead? No, Moltres and Lando. Moltres and Lando. All right, I'm totally fine with that. I think we're going to proc policy here. Ooh, he's probably like, yo, double swords? What's going on here? And he's going to get that Intimidate on me. And that's actually going to help me out. Make that Shadow Sneak do a little bit less damage, which I really like. And I think I'm just going to take out Galarian Moltres. 
I think that's gonna be the lovely little play. And if that Moltres, do I go with a Wormwind? Get that attack drop on the Lando, or do I go for the speed boost? Let's say we get that attack drop on that Lando and try to take out this Moltres. He might Dynamax as well, that's gonna be a problem. But I'm hoping, hoping he doesn't, or I'm hoping we can just one shot KO. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Bump, ba -dum, bump. The only problem with the Dynamax moves is the one that drops special attack is bug. It's a move or it's a typing that nobody uses. So it's really tough. It's really annoying. And I would love to get special attack drops, but I never use a bug type G Max move, you know? Or not G Max, Dynamax move. Just whack. He's gonna Dynamax, the Moltres. Alright. You coming after my pole? Is that, is that what you're doing? Coming after my mom? Coming after you. Coming after you. Do outspeed him. Not for a fact. That is coming out here. He's gonna do less damage. Thank you, Intimidate. Doing how much is that? That's 66 or just 60 on the dot? It was 60 on the dot. Here's my policy. I'm getting after you. Come on, give me a crit. Give me a crit. Show me a lovely crit. Bang. Nope. No crit. We do get a attack shop on the Lando. Hopefully, we can eat up this darkness. Hopefully, we can eat up this darkness. I'm gonna go Berserk. Oh, dude, I don't think we're gonna be able to eat up this darkness. I totally forgot about the Berserk. He's Swords Dance. Hey, hey! What are you doing? Yo, this thing, this guy's setting up. He's doing me dirty. There goes Darkness. Go, pull, pull. Tasty Snack, Tasty Snack, Tasty Snack. Nah, yo, go on. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> Drops him. He's out of here. Um, okay. Uh, I could have went to a Sucker Punch. I think Sucker Punch could potentially pick up that KO for us. And then Dublade could start screeching. Could be Dublade play. Hmm. What do I want to do? I don't, I don't like this one bit. We go for that wicked blow. He might try to drop. He's probably gonna drop an EQ. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, I do outspeed him. That's that's a that's a good thing. I'm gonna screech over onto Lando. I'm just gonna drop a wicked blow. Hmm. Good combat. Should have brought out my what's it called. Should have brought out my Rotom. We're gonna close combat here. Let's come back. Can you pick up KO? You do, indeed. Indeed, you pick up the KO. Now I can screech you, and a sucker punch could do big damage. Which I'm really liking. We get rid of the Moltres. We still have the Rotom in the back. Kinda saw that EQ coming all day. Some big EQ damage. That's some big EQ damage, which I'm not liking one bit. <laughs> so we do get off this screech. But we are going to. There's a screech. Give me that defense drop. I'm totally dropping the sucker. Actually, I do out I outspeed it right now. So it really depends who he brings out. It really depends who he brings out. If he brings out someone who can outspeed, uh, oh no, there it is. There's the first turn priority. Um, I gotta go for a sucker punch. Oh, this one's so tough. This is so tough because he's just gonna be able to uh, take out my what's it called? He's just gonna be able to take out my uh my Rotom, no problem. Big guy's coming out here and there it is. There's the GG's. Dang it man! Shouldn't have Dynamax Pult. Shouldn't have Dynamax Pult. Gonna drop down here. Dude Blade's gonna get ooh, ooh. My heart, man. My heart! Don't do it to me! Don't do it to me! Gotta bring that Roboom. I, I should have saw all this coming. I should have saw all this coming. Like, I really want to show off the combos for you guys, but they're so easy, like, readable. Like, people can just read them left and right. But I'm just going to run here. I'm going to save poor little washing machine's life. And we're going to end up going one and two for today's video. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. We ended up going one and two. The first battle, I think we probably should have won it. It was really, really close. He did end up getting an extra max guard off, which saved them a lot of time and a lot of health. Ended up picking up that win. Second battle, we dominated. We outplayed our opponent really, really well. Picked up the victory. And then in that third and final battle, we just made a bad play by leading the Dragon Pole and Dublade combo, which I kind of knew was going to be tough, but I really want to try to show it off for you guys in a video because this is what the team's revolved around. He dumped on my Dragon Pole with his Berserk Moltres and then rolled out from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.